we can't cook. Better get you some. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Hello lovelies, welcome back. Alright, welcome to my fruit trifle video. Mate, I've never lied to you before and I'm not going to lie to you now. This is the best trifle I have ever made in my life. So, get excited for this one. The recipe I'm going to write below in the description in order to make it really easy for you. Alright, so we're going to get straight into it. So the first thing we're going to make is a passion fruit curd. What we need is 180 grams of butter, chop it up into a small saucepan. Now we need three quarters of a cup of passion fruit pulp. I love buying these. I hope you can see that. It's a John West passion, John West passion fruit pulp and in its syrup. And these are absolutely brilliant to keep in your cupboards. They last forever. Um, well, at the moment, if I was to go down and get passion fruit, I mean, you can go get them, obviously, if you can, definitely get them. But if I was to go down and get a heap of passion fruit, it would cost me an absolute fortune up here at the minute. So I'm really glad that I've got them in my cupboard. All right, so we need three quarters of a cup. Okay, so one of these 170 gram cans end up being exactly three quarters of a cup. So we pour that in to our butter. Now, just grab a lemon and we need one tablespoon of lemon juice. Pour that baby in there. Oh yeah, that was that tiny lemon. And we need three quarters of a cup of caster sugar. Put that in there. All right, now we're gonna set that aside for a minute. Okay, now we need five eggs. But what we're gonna do first, just make sure review, is that we're just gonna separate two of them. So, whites in one bowl. You sort of cut it with, with the edge of the shell you can cut that off most of the time like that all right so separate them once they're separated put the whites aside we don't need them you can just chuck them into anything you're cooking if you don't want to waste them so now the two egg yolks we put into a jug and now we add the other three eggs whole in with our yolks all right once we've whisked them all up we just leave that sitting there because we'll need it. Now the next thing we do is we want to put our stove top on medium. We want to melt it all down and then start stirring it once it melts all down. And once you can push your spoon on the bottom and not hear crunching of the sugar, it's all melted in, you can take it straight off. We do not want to boil it, we just want to melt that sugar down. As soon as it's all melted, take it straight off. Now we want to turn our stove top down to low. Okay, so leave it on and put it on low. Alright, now just get rid of the spoon. Alright, I'm going to have to do it this way because I'm right handed. But So what we want to do is we want to slowly pour it in while we whisk. Like just a slow, steady stream. Once we've done that, Giving a good whisk up. We want to now put it back into our saucepan. Now I've got an electric stove top, so I'm actually going to have to wait a couple of minutes for it to cool down to low. If you've got gas, you're lucky. You can put it straight back on. So what we want to do now is as soon as it's on low, is we want to put it over it and we want to constantly stir it. So get yourself a bar stool or a chair to sit at. All right, put it over it, constantly stir it. Okay, that took 16 minutes on my electric stove top. Now, when you get it to see how it's coating the back of it and see how it drips off slower, that's when it's ready, okay? Because when you first do it, it'll drip off really fast. And when it coats the back like that and it drips slowly like that, she's ready. All right, so now we just want to set that aside to cool down and move on to the next thing. Oh, get a teaspoon and try it. Oh my god, mate. All right, now on to the fruit. So the first thing we want to do is preheat our oven at 210 degrees Celsius. We want to get ourselves out an oven tray and have that ready to go. Now, we need one and a half kilo all up 
of stoned fruits. So normally at Christmas time, I would use plums, peaches, uh, nectarines and apricots. But because I can't get apricots at the moment, I'm using plums, nectarines, white peaches and yellow peaches. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to cut them all in half. All right, take the stone out. Now we'll cut them in halves again. All right, and we want to do that exact same thing with all of them. Now we put them in the oven tray and keep going. So I'll tell you a little story, just a little story about um, this trifle. So 10 years ago, it was 2011, I was spending my last Christmas in Parafield Gardens before I moved up here and I made this kick-ass trifle and it did not last a minute. Everybody absolutely loved it and was raving about it. Moved up here lost the recipe for 10 years every christmas i would rip apart all my cookbooks all everything i've got rip them all apart everywhere trying to find this bloody recipe and for 10 years i haven't found it the other day i cannot believe it i was going through different sorts of books they weren't cookbooks and this book just fell off and out come the recipe after 10 frigging years and that is why I, I'm like dribbling at the moment I'm so excited about this I, I'm just so excited okay once they're done and in a pan set them aside for a minute now we need quarter of a cup of orange juice all right measure out quarter of a cup extra of the caster sugar set that aside for a second now we need a quarter of a cup of orange juice now if you can get fresh oranges, squeeze a quarter of a cup of orange juice and if you're like me and you can't get them at the moment I've got a bottle of uh, the jarred orange juice in the fridge so I'm going to use that. So a quarter of a cup, pour our quarter of a cup of orange juice over it. Pour our quarter of a cup extra caster sugar over Now with clean hands, we want to toss it through and we want to coat all of them. Once we've coated all the fruit in the juice oh, and the sugar, all right, now we want to bang it in the oven for approximately 15 minutes. So just keep checking because every oven's different, but you want the fruit to be soft and you want it to be really syrupy. So what I did is after 10 minutes, I gave it a quick mix around. And then it took another 10 minutes, so all up 20 minutes for me. So as you can see, hopefully if it's not steamed up too much, you can see that is all gone to syrup. Absolutely perfect. Everything's soft. Beautiful. Okay, so now what we're going to do is set that aside to completely go cold. Now the next thing we need is some slithered almonds. Oh yeah, baby, these are awesome. Okay, and a small frying pan. Now, it's up to you how many you want to use. You can either, we're going to, uh, what do you call it? Roast them up, fry them up, whatever. So you don't need anything in the pan, just the almonds. Now, you can either layer them through it like I do, because they're absolutely yummy, layers the whole way through, or you can make just enough to sprinkle all over the top. It's totally up to you. So I want to layer them through, so that's probably a cup. All right, so we turn it on low, and you just constantly keep flicking it with an egg flip until you see them just starting to go brown. You don't want to burn them because they taste like shit if they're burnt. So just till they're toasty brown. Make sure you constantly stir your almonds, okay? Now it's starting to get a nice little brown tone on them now. I class them as ready. So turn it straight off and get them straight out of there into a bowl and you guessed it, put it aside. Okay, I promise folks we are almost there. <laughs> All right, now for the next step, I have a panettone here from Christmas Stew. Um, now this one's a chop chip one, which is not ideal, but it will definitely do. Uh, 750 gram. Now if you're making these at Christmas time and you're gonna get a panettone, uh, Woolies, the one I used that one time I made it was the Woolies Gold Panettone, 
which was an almond one and it was frigging amazing but I've got this one so I'm going to use this now you can if you because these trifles are beautiful to make all year round um, for a dessert as well so if you want to make it at a different time of the year you can use brioche instead 750 grams of brioche or you can use fruit bread and you can use 750 grams now if you're making this at Easter time you can use hot cross buns either your sultana ones your fruit ones 750 grams worth or I like to normally use the plain hot cross buns 750 grams worth but like I said I've got this one left so I'm going to use this today oh mate I love the smell of this stuff all right so no matter what you decide to use you want to divide it into three and once you divide it into three grab out some bowls grab out three bowls now we want to cut it up now it's totally up to you how you want to cut it you can do it into thin slices like if you're using fruit bread or whatever you can do it into thin slices and we can lay them out thin or like me I like to do little chunks well that's how I did it last time it was freaking amazing so just just show you with one of them so just chunks like that all right and chuck them in a bowl into three different bowls so they're all ready to go and now we grab out a bowl and we want to put one and a half cups of thickened cream in there now I know there's a lot of little things you got to do here but I'm telling you when all your family and friends are sitting down and munging on this and then won't stop talking about it for weeks it is so worth it okay so once we've got one and a half cups in there we want to get our electric beater out and we want to beat it up until soft peaks form once we've achieved our soft peaks we want to get out a large bowl we want to get our passion fruit curd and pour it into the big bowl oh, ho, ho, ho. make sure you scrape all that goodness out now into that passion fruit curd goes our cream now we want to ever so gently uh what do they call it i don't know when you slowly put stir it into it fold it we want to fold it into it so we just keep doing this until it's all mixed in properly Alrighty. once we've finished folding we have done all of our elements <laughs> now you've got to lick that spoon now all our elements are done our fruit is still just a little bit warm so give the fruit a good mixture again get those juices all over it now we're going to just whack that cream in the fridge for five minutes and we're going to make ourselves a well-deserved cuppa and then in five minutes time by then the fruit should be completely cold and we can put this baby together oh my god mate we are finally there okay now we want to get a three litre glass bowl i'm hoping that's a three liter one i've had this one for absolutely forever so i'm hoping that's what i actually did in 10 years ago all right so the first thing we want to do is get one third of our panettone or hot cross buns or fruit bread whatever we're using and put that in the bottom Now flatten it out a little bit, push it down a bit, for the bottom layer anyway. Well now we get out our beautiful passion fruit curd cream. Now we want to put one third of our cream in there. Just roughly sort of try and work it out what one third will be. Oh my. I'll go around the edges first. Now we want to put one third of our fruit in. So in the pan I've just kind of like roughly divided up into three sections. Oh, are we excited yet or what? <laughs> okay now it's up to you but if you want to do the layers of almonds like I am I'm going to put a handful of almonds over it and now we go again and again and we do exactly the same thing for all three layers I don't know how but somehow I managed 
to get the whole thing in there. <laughs> a few almonds on top. And just like that, my friends, we have the most beautiful trifle ever. So what we do now is we wrap it in glad wrap or plastic wrap and you want to put it in the fridge for a minimum of two hours to set. I'm just going to leave it in there till tomorrow and just go hard. It serves eight really big servings. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Have yourselves an awesome night and definitely give this one a go at some stage. You're going to absolutely love it. Bye.